Hey y'all, Rick Fearless, Fearless, Stroker's Dallas, Stroker's Ice House, Punch Wally Garage, Fearless Services. Good morning. Hey, doing all right? Today is Friday, September 27th, 2024, year of our Lord. Season number two, episode number 271. In today's show, we will talk about Sayer. We will talk about Route 66. We will talk about 55 Chevy. Let's go. In my life, the 366 Project, coming to you almost live from almost downtown Dallas in the powerful CHUMP studio. Today's show is brought to you by Reliable Diamond Tool. That's ReadyTo.com. R-E-D-I-T-O-O. Check them out. It's also brought to you by Simpson Motorcycle Helmets. If you got a $100 head, then you wear a $100 helmet. But if your head is priceless, like mine, wear a Simpson. They are the best. We are a dealer. StrokersDallasMerch.com We are also a dealer for Extreme Charge, the best motorcycle maintenance battery charger on the planet. StrokersDallasMerch.com Today, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine goes back to... We're going to reflect on the past few days. So, my cousin Deanna from California, she and I get to see each other hopefully once a year is what we, we try to do. She is like a sister to my brother and I, a close sister. When we were kids, we would spend every summer in Sayre, Oklahoma, me and my brother from Irving, Deanna would come up from California. So for three months a year, we were always together. So every year or two, Deanna and, and I, sometimes my brother, we like to go back to Sayre in Elk City, visit with my, my grandma's sister, Aunt Helen, and her family, uh, Jamie Chester and Beverly and, and them, and, you know, reminisce, basically. So I decided to drive my 55 Chevy that I call Ruby. She did great. I drove Ruby 750 miles. So the 750 miles I drove Ruby is more than Ruby has driven in one time in more than the 20 something years that I've owned her. You know, so she did great. Didn't miss a beat. I can't tell you how many compliments I got on that car, but I'm gonna say it's over a thousand. Truck drivers honking, just, you know, you go into a store, you pull up. I mean, it's a, it's a great conversation piece. And, uh, you know, it's, it was our little time machine. It's, it's my time machine. When I drive that car, I'm young again. So we had a great time. We had a great visit with our kinfolks. We got to go to a few places that we, we enjoy when we're there. We got to take some fresh flowers to Grandma and Grandpa's grave, Uncle Charles' grave, and Bobby's grave. It was, uh, it was good. We rode down Route 66, which is right there through Sayre, right through Elk City. And they have a Route 66 museum there in Elk City. So we went in the museum. If you like Route 66, there is a great museum in Elk City called the Route 66 Museum. And it's awesome. I think it cost me 
me and Deanna four bucks a piece to go in a museum and they have like I'm going to say there's 20 different buildings. It's like an old town out there. It was wonderful. Wonderful museum. I enjoy going to it whenever I can. So thank you to Deanna for coming down and, and uh, going with me. We had a great time. Thanks to my wife for stepping up and doing my morning duties while I was gone. And I'm going to do it again in a year or so. You in, D? I know you are. Let's check the chuck. Check that. Woo, these ain't chucks. So these are some Hoka's hiking boots that you can see. They're still one eye down. Double knotted for safety. Why are you wearing these today, Mr. Fairless? I'm wearing these today because my feet hurt. Oh, I got you. These are. Say it with me, y'all. These are. Some handsome chucks. Okay, let's check the office. So that's a picture of me, Deanna, and my brother Randy in Sayer 1961. That's my 57 Chevy Jezebel there. So I had this painting done by my my gal Pat, uh, Cat. Cat is a good friend, and that was based off of this original picture. So we got to see a lot of red dirt this this week, and it does my soul good. Let's check Grandma's calendar, and let's check it for the days we were gone too. So we left on the twenty fourth. So I didn't read the 24th. Grandma wrote, we went to town this evening. Harry didn't get home from the game until tonight. So, September 25th, 1949, Grandma wrote, it was a Sunday. Dick went hunting. We went to Sunday school tonight. We went to singing at Doxy. Well, Doxy's a town. I don't know about the singing. The 26th was Monday. Dick worked at the elevator. The greater man ate dinner with us. They are fixing the road in front of our house. I wash this evening. And 75 years ago today, September 27th, 1949, was a Tuesday. What did you do, Grandma? Grandma wrote, I ironed today. Dick sold his old Chevrolet. What year must it have been if it was old and it was 1949? We are buying 20 acres of land at Fanshawe, Oklahoma. Where's that at, D? Where's Fanshawe? Never heard of it. Okay. We're caught up with Grandma. We'll check back in tomorrow. Dad joke. What is brown and hairy and wear sunglasses? A coconut on vacation. Get off the couch, a motivational minute. The best way to appreciate your job is to imagine yourself without one. Unless you're retired. Why wouldn't you work? I mean, work helps you build some self-esteem. Work helps you put some food on the table. Work helps you get some exercise, both your body and your mind. And I get it, if people retire, they should. People that work all their lives, they deserve the, the retirement. And I'm all for that. Gives you more time to hang out with me. So Friday night, spike night. Should be in the 80s. Should be a good night. Live music. Uh, check out my website, strokersdallasmerch.com. And I hope to see you tonight. All right, I got to go. Love you, Alice. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow.